Hi there, my name is Christian Gaddy, and welcome to part two of three in the tutorial series of setting up an Android development environment. In this episode, we'll be installing the Android SDK in Ubuntu 11.10. To begin with, we're going to change directory into our downloads folder. To do this, in our terminal window, we will type cd space downloads. Now, this is assuming you already downloaded the Android SDK from the last video. If you haven't, you can go back and watch that video, because it's also important to have your Java uh, development kit installed if you don't already have it already. Now, the next thing we'll do is we'll type ls, and we see that we have the Android SDK r16-linux.tgz downloaded already, which is good. Now, what we want to do is check the integrity of that download. To do this, we'll be running an MD5 checksum upon that file. To do this, we would type MD5 sum space android dash SDK underscore R16 dash Linux dot TGZ and hit enter. Okay, this string right here is actually the correct MD5 sum for this file. If you want to check that, it will be in the description below the uh, video. So if that matches exactly, then congratulations, the download is not corrupted, it is intact, and it is fine. Now we're going to want to extract this file. So to do this, we will type tar space dash x f space android dash sdk underscore r16 dash linux dot tgz and hit enter. Okay, type ls and you'll see now we have this directory here android dash sdk dash linux. Um, now we're going to move that into our home folder. To do this we can type mv space android dash sdk dash linux space dot dot slash android dash sdk dash linux. Now if you're not familiar with this, the dot dot just means go up a directory and then we're going to tell it just put it in as what it's already named. So go ahead and strike enter and if you do an ls again you'll see that that directory is now gone. If we do cd dot dot, which means go up a directory again, hit enter, we're now in our home folder, and we type ls, and you'll see that we have android.sdk-linux right here. Now, the next thing we want to do is change directory to that folder, so we type cd space android-sdk-linux, hit enter, type ls, and this is the current file structure of the uh, Android SDK file. So what we want to do now is cd into the tools directory, ls, and you see here we have a file called android. This is actually executable, so what I want you to do now is type dot slash android and hit enter. Okay, here we have the Android SDK manager pulled up. So what I want you to do is click the tick box next to the tools folder here. So all this is checked uh, you know, checked off. And go over here and click install one or more packages. Next you'll click accept all and then install. Now you see here it's downloading the SDK platform tools. Just let this finish and you're almost done with this part of the tutorial. This is fine, don't worry about it. Okay, downloading package. We can hit close. And I just wanted to point out that if you are actually going to be doing any development for, say, an ice cream sandwich target or a gingerbread target, you're going to also want to install one of these. For ice cream sandwich, I'd recommend the latest, 4.0.3. For honeycomb, you have 3.2. 2.3.3 targets gingerbread. Um, so all you'd have to do is click the tick box next to it and click install. I'm not going to do that on this situation because my download speed is 
like varies a lot so I can't be guaranteed on if it's going to be downloading fast enough for this video. Okay, so now that we have the minimum installed, which is the Android SDK tools, so that's done, we are now done with this tutorial. Um, if you join me on the next tutorial, I'll be showing you how to install the Eclipse IDE. Thank you very much for your time. My name is Christian Gaddy, and see you in the next tutorial.